this time the real mock-up, once again with Sam Terry, and we're going to learn what's new, just when you're on. Sam, welcome back to Simple Flying. Hi Shashank, great to see you again. Yeah, great Dubai Air Show, lots of royalties coming through this cabin. Absolutely, I think it says everything that we had to wait to the fourth day before we get some time right. to actually make this film. Yeah, absolutely. So many of the, the industry's uh, key airlines come through this right. uh, next generation single line and they were totally thrilled with, with what they're getting in the next few years. Fantastic, so we've seen this once. Tell me what's new, what's new in this cabin now that we're inside. Okay, and our mock-up today it's fairly production representative, uh -huh. so the first time thing that we're looking at uh -huh. would be the all-digital cabin management system. Okay. It's a Panasonic design, and we have designed this in conjunction with the airlines, oh. airline working group, about 30 of them. Let's, let's look at this, yeah. Huh. Alright, very nice. And this is the cabin itself. This is the cabin itself. Very pretty. Very open. Very, Very open. Spacious. But I noticed something here. The the doors are not aligned. Is that by design? That's by design, Shashank, because basically you can pull a curtain across here, uh -huh. you can service away at the galley, the cabin attendant can stand in this position, she can welcome the people on board. Fantastic. This is well well thought. And we got a lab here? We got a front lab, and this again is the first in the industry. Normally the front lab in a single light aircraft is fairly cramped. So right. anyone who's, let's say, high challenged above six feet uh -huh. finds it very, very difficult to use this lab. But let's see what Bombardier have done in their next generation single light. It's a full, it's a full stand-up lab that can accommodate anyone up to six foot four standing comfortably. <laughs> How tall are you, Sam? In the industry. I'm right about 5'11". 5'11", alright. That's comfortable. So you, you don't have to bend down. Very, very comfortable. Very Again, nice. the first in the industry. <laughs> okay. So let's take a walk down through the cabin. Sure. Please. First of all, you'll see that we're displaying our mood lighting. Yep. Again, this is a standard feature on most aircraft now. It's an optional feature. Okay. But again, anyway, it, it adds a lot of atmosphere to the cabin. Right. We just walked through our business class section mm -hmm. with the extra wide seats. Right. Our business class is two plus two. Mm -hmm. Gives great comfort. We're displaying the latest seats from Zodiac. Okay. I also uh, noticed that the, that the aisle is quite wide here. The aisle is very wide. Right. That position. The aisle is over 30 inches at that position. Mm -hmm. Now we move down into the economy section. This is where most people will travel on this ship. Right. Uh, so basically, just to remind you of the key features of the C-Series 100% all-new aircraft, we upsized the seats. So right. this seat is one and a half inches bigger than the seat that people normally travel in a single aisle aircraft. Okay. One and, and a half inches bigger, one and a half inches bigger, one and a half inches bigger. Normally the worst seat on a five abreast aircraft the is middle the middle seat. seat. That's right. What have we done? We give that guy more butt space. So he gets 19 inches between armrests. That's a full two inches bigger. And and that's the widest seat then. And that's the widest. So that means seat. airlines can actually charge more to sit in the middle. Absolutely. That's unheard we're, of. We're already getting that uh, <laughs> from a lot of, particularly North American airlines. That's fantastic. And I see the windows seem as big as the 787 that I've been in. The, those windows are massive. Yeah. I mean, actually place them at the right height so that people don't struggle to bend down and look through the windows like uh, legacy designs that we're flying in today. Right, and those are polarized as well? You can control it just That's one That's an option click. for this aircraft. You can mm -hmm. have the polarized version right. where the cabin attendant or the individual can actually close his blind just by pressing a quick button. Fantastic. And there's a lot of good height above you as well in the seating space and everything. There's excellent height on this aircraft. Although it's a smaller overall diameter, we've managed to build in a full eight, seven foot height within right. this aircraft. So certainly makes it feel very spacious. It makes it feel spacious. The other key point is the, the side walls. We've actually designed the side walls mm -hmm. around the seated comfort position mm -hmm. of the individual. So we've actually made them fairly straight. Again, legacy designs are circles. Mm -hmm. So this circle comes up around your head, right. gives you a claustrophobic feeling. Right. We've opened that up entirely. We've made it more straight size mm -hmm. uh, and basically opened up wide body comfort in a single aisle aircraft. That's right. the whole design right. for aircraft. Right, fantastic. The key thing is now we've got a very comfortable seated position, we've got a very comfortable cabin to move through, uh -huh. quick for planing and deplaning. Right. But 
today we're trying to work around the trends of the industry and, and basically most people are traveling with bigger luggage. All right. This luggage comes in the form of roller bags. Right. Normal standard is run about 22 inch IATA roller bag. Mm -hmm. So this side of the ship, we've designed all our bins to carry three of these standard roller bags. Okay. Pretty Maximizes spacious. the number of roller bags in the bins. Right. On this side of our ship, we have a little bit more depth. Okay. We utilize that. And not only can you carry the normal 22 inch standard IATA roller bag, wheels first, you can carry the supersized I had a rule about Oh, that's almost Wait illegal. First. That's the kind of check-in. <laughs> Today, it's maybe not legal to, to take these bags, but think of travel in the next few years. People right. want to take more and more into the cabin. Right. So the airlines can now actually charge for this mm -hmm. or use it as a perk for the business aircraft, for the business section of the aircraft. Fantastic. And this one seems pretty big as well. That bin is almost the same dimensions as the 777 bin. Oh, so it's much bigger than any narrow body bins out there. Much bigger, much bigger. The other key feature is it actually opens down a full six inches below the nearest competitor's pivot bin. So it's bin. eye level. It's eye level loading mm -hmm. so that people don't struggle, particularly smaller people, mums mm -hmm. with children, right. that type of thing. Fantastic. So here we have another lavatory. No big deal, a lavatory is a lavatory. Have a quick look at this to shine. I'll open the door. Uh -huh. Again, full stand-up height. Pretty big. Really big. We've incorporated a window into this lavatory. Again, that's mm -hmm. a trend in the industry, 787 right. uh, as a window. We like to give the industry what it's looking for in terms of natural light back into the, the ship. Right. One special feature of this aft lavatory is the next foot feature I'm going to show you. This little side door opens up. Okay, now this get, is huge. To get full accessibility for a, someone with, with a wheelchair. Mobility operating in a wheelchair. Let me just show you. Sure. This, uh, this is a standard aircraft wheelchair. Okay. Bring the person in. We close up the door. So, no need for curtains or anything? No need for curtains. So, the person in the privacy has total privacy right. uh, to service the lab. Right, right. It's a key feature going forward, and one that we think that legislation will, will, will come in. Before, this is before this is fantastic, uh, Sam. And when when does this when does this plane start flying again? People should watch out for these planes in a couple of years coming to an airport near you. You should lobby your airline to go out and look specially for this aircraft. It has something for everyone. It has economy for the operator, it has comfort for the passenger, mm -hmm. and it has the most advanced cockpit um, flying machine interface in the industry of any aircraft that's out there today. Fantastic, I can't wait to fly this baby.